Hey folks, welcome back to the Portable Gamer. Welcome back to Project Cars 2, and welcome to Hockenheim, Germany. This is the old Formula One track, uh, four and a quarter mile lap. And we're going to be in a Lotus 7.8, and that's, Project Cars calls that vintage Formula One Class B. The only car in it is the Lotus 7.8, so we're going to be racing against about a half dozen other Lotus 7.8s. So think of it like Formula One spec racing. And for the underclass, I have vintage Formula 1C. Those cars are, for the most part, just as fast as the Lotus 7.8, but they don't have ground effects. And the Lotus 7.8 was the first properly ground-affected car. So in, in the vintage Formula 1 Class C, there's going to be a Lotus 7.2, Lotus 4.9C, cars with wings, but they weren't ground-affected. So they're just as fast, but they don't handle and corner nearly as well. And then you're also going to have the old-school 1960s Formula 1 just nothing to it. Just a chassis with some light bodywork, engine, and wheels. Kind of the classic. When you think of 1960s Formula One, that's what you picture. We're doing 15 laps today. We have a mandatory pit stop for everybody. As always, we have all cheats and assists turned off. Racing line and brake line are turned off. Tire wear, fuel use, and damage are on. And the AI is set at skill 40 and aggression 25. So looking for a good race today. I don't want just want to chew through the chew through the pack and, and win. I want to really have to hustle and concentrate and work. And I want kind of an uncertain outcome. So here we go. I was also in testing, I was kind of tearing up my engines. So I'm really going to try to short shift as much as possible. Crazy thing about this track in this configuration, there's very little signage or, or turn in markers. So it's really hard to find break points because there aren't any. I mean, there's just, there's nothing marked. Uh, I, I look for, like, marks on the pavement, marks on the fences, signs, like, not signs like, you know, 300, 200, 100. But signs like, like a, a advertising sign hung on the fence just to try to count it off, particularly this complex we're coming to right here. I cannot get the timing on this one. Because there's just, I don't know where I am. Like, I know I'm getting close to it. And then it's just right there. Right, so we'll see how we do. But it's, Definitely going to be some focusing going on today. Cosworth motor in the Lotus 7.8, and it is... When I think of Formula One, like, that's the sound I think of. Right. I've got my arrow down one turn front and rear, so we are going to be faster on these straights. And I mean, the whole track is straight. It's like straights with chicanes. That's the whole thing. So I thought I'd rather make up the time on the straights and, and fight with the chicanes than 
right? Have good grip through here. And all the extra drag, you get what I'm saying. He's right behind me, isn't he? Where'd he come from? I will think about defending. Right there. I mean, I just can't get the timing on it. Breaking way too early right there. But if I break late, it's just straight into a tire wall. And then the day's over. We'll see. And as far as gears through that little gears through that little section before the pit straight, I don't know, man. I think like sometimes just stay in second and and let the revs run kind of high, and then other times I think take it to third. And I, I don't know. This whole track is is just it's great, but it's weird. It's a strange kind of track. I don't feel like I'm doing anything with these guys up in front of me. That's not terrible, but I don't I don't think it's gonna get it done. I mean, just slightly faster. Tenth of a second. Okay. And we are in third, but we're getting we're getting no closer to second. So we are recording a new format today. Well, a couple of new things going on. So one thing is I've capped all my sim games, all my simulation apps, whatever you want to call them. At 60 FPS, which for some of them is funny because it's like I can't even hit 60 FPS. But like this right now with, with all the AI, with 22 AI cars, we are capped at 60 FPS. If we weren't capped, we'd be at like...
Hmm. We'd be, I don't know, like 75 to 90 FPS. So we're capped at 60 FPS. And we're also capturing in 60 FPS now. And we are... We're going to be editing in DaVinci Resolve. almost so bad. We're going to be editing in DaVinci Resolve from now on. So, put all that together and ideally we're going to have a much better result in the videos. And the reason, actually the reason for that why I decided to do that is because of these racing videos. Because scenery is going by so fast. I found that at 30 FPS, it could look a little jittery, right? The old movie look, I call it. We can't have that. So, to make these race. To make these race videos look better, we went to 60 FPS. And really what I've been looking for, what I've been trying to do is... One of my favorite things to find on YouTube is simulation gaming videos that look like movies. Like, you don't have to really squint your eyes too hard. To feel like you're watching a movie. And that's what I've been trying to do in my videos, is have that same look. So nice, you know, smooth. Smooth movement, smooth motion. Good depth of field, like we had right there. Good color. Uh, good depth, good richness, just everything. I just want beautiful videos. And I feel like... And I feel like we're getting closer and closer to that.
Right. Okay. Jesus. I guess we're catching this guy up. And I think I'm going to pit on lap 10 or 11. Didn't we get in here last time? Yeah, we did. Oh, look what they've done to my boy. Didn't hear anything he just said. Back markers. That was all I got out of that.
Right. Uh, did we take damage right there? No. Just the engine slowly coming apart, but it's to be expected. Uh, I apologize for sniffling, but I can't reach up to. Oh, come on, buddy. Right, okay, so that just happened. Man, I don't know. Third gear, fourth gear for turn one. I'm on the fence. Right, this is lap 10. So we will pitch. does not seem like a great opportunity. It seems like a great opportunity to get wrecked. A bunch of yahoos. Well played, sir. Easy Pete, come on. Right. So let's give this a second to shake out and see where I'm at. I know I'm, I know I'm on the podium, but that snafu back there, pulling into the wrong pit stall. Let's see what kind of time that cost me.
Right. Uh, looks like I'm 12 seconds back, but I think he has to pit. I hope, because if not... If not, I can't make up 12 seconds. We'll see. Guys. Right. So I'm uh, I'm 35 seconds back from first, and I'm 14 seconds back from second. So I I don't know if they've already pitted. Then I just need to not wreck, and I'll have a podium. If they, if they have to pit. Then I might, might be able to squeeze out a first. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're going to pit on the last lap. If they already did pit, that wouldn't make sense, though. Because I couldn't have dropped. I mean, I was, I was in second when I pitted, right? Okay. Well, we'll see. Right. Okay. Well, still looking at a podium. Oh, man. I hate to throw it away like that. I hate to. Well, there are still cars pitting. Okay.
and what that's all about. Right. Let's just pretend that lap never happened. Right. So we'll get second. Uh, no way I'll get first unless he crashes out. But second is second. As long as I don't crash out. I do see third is one second behind me, so I'm... Trying to hustle up. Right. Folks, thanks for stopping back to join Portable Gamer. Thanks for joining us for Project Cars 2. Hold over here. Ooh. It's exciting. Yeah, thanks for stopping by.
We'll see you next time. Take care.